All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hotel California. Here we are, guys, back in another episode of um, Awesomeness, where we today are just mainly gathering supplies because what I think I had to have done before I went and gone and attacked um, the motel, or went to the motel, was I think I should have gathered up a little bit more supplies. Like, I know it's it's kind of like stupid to now say it, but I really do think I should have gathered up more supplies. So let's make sure the house is safe before I completely, like, yeah, it's safe. Okay. I should have, like, you know, made sure the house is safe before, I mean, not safe, not the, the hotel, I should have made it sure it's safe and made sure I was well before I went out. You know, I was kind of, ooh, ooh, I'm definitely taking this. That's definitely helpful, alright, because that's going to, like, yeah, just keep it in the back. Good, good, I'm glad you guys are thinking ahead, but yeah, you know, it's just like, uh, it's just like, I really gotta be more smart about this, I know I wanna kinda get the series going, and I know I kinda wanna be like Victoria 2, wanna have go, 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 but you know, you kinda have to be patient in this game, this game is definitely much about patience, and you know, I found two, are you kidding me, I found two, take both, <laughs> I found two, oh, and for some reason I kept, why did I, why did I do that? I don't know, but okay, so I can start getting my survivalist bags up and running. So let's see, let's start putting, this is, this school bag right here is going to be my uh, death pack. So let's see, pack of cigarettes, oh my goodness, I forgot, I bet you guys are going to remind me, I forgot to smoke my cigarettes. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot about that, sorry guys, sorry, I messed up a good moment. We have our matches though this time, this guy, this guy I think... Thomas, just by his name, prefers matches, matches than anything else. Let me just eat some stuff. Let me get some drinks. And yeah, we also did a good long conversation about Catherine and the whole story behind that. It's, like I said, very gray area if you want to hear me talk about it. You know, I already know there's nothing in here. Do, do, do. Let's see, is there anything in here though? Blouses, skirts, sheets. I mean, sheets are really easy to come by in this game now. It's not like... Okay, I'm going to be really careful here. Ah! There we go. Zombie extraordinaire and lag. Give me one second. Okay. Some reason I had a lot of lag there. Got it all sorted out. It's now fine. Okay, but yeah, we killed the the bathroom zombies. Bathroom zombies are not fun at all. They basically entail you having to almost die. I'm just going to make sure I got everything I needed from this place. Ooh, I did not get anything I needed from this place. Hate when I miss stuff. Ooh, whiskey. Okay, I'm going to put that in my survivalist bag because the guy needs... I feel like you need to go out drunk. If you're going to... If, if you are one of those people that likes to drink and smoke and stuff, you just got to do it. Like, it's going to be a last survivalist thing. You just got to go out drunk and smoke and, uh, yeah. But anyways, we are in this Let's Play of Awesomeness. And James Thomas, I guess, is definitely much different than our previous character of, um, James Miller. James Miller was much more of a kind and shy guy. James Thomas, on the other hand, is very much outvoted, extroverted. He's basically visiting all the neighbors immediately off the bat. I mean, he is not, he is not shy to make his motives heard. He definitely likes to do whatever he wants to do. He is... Okay, I, I did not see this guy. My thing did not give me a counter saying that he was in here. Die. Okay. Luckily, I don't think zombies spawn in multiple rooms, so... That should be good, but anyways, yeah. This guy, he's a complete another... Just, he, he's hardened now. He's hardened to the point where he knows how to deal with stuff. Lighter, definitely gonna take that. Tuna, definitely gonna take that. Uh, let's see, what else do I need? Canned beans, canned food, dog food. I'm assuming you can eat that. Really should test a lot of this cereal. Put that in here. I'm gonna keep that for the last stand. Tuna, put it back in here. This is a pretty good haul today. Like seriously, we're having a pretty good. Okay, now I can. I'm gonna eat some of the orangey now, just because it's um, just because we need to have a good water bottle. 
And this will be this is a good time to get a water bottle right now. Just something we need. Okay, let's can we fill? Okay, I'm gonna have to go to the sink. Okay. Let's fill. Fill up empty water bottle. And I'm gonna put this in here so that we make sure we don't have any kind of weird stuff happening. And yeah! We're basically just almost done with the day. Um, I actually think I will end the episode here. So thank you guys for watching. This was a, another episode of Motel California. And let's just check this last room. Oh, shoot. There's two last rooms. I hate this. Mona Lisa. That's not good. Well, that's not Mona Lisa. But why does this room have nothing in it? Okay. It must be like... Their friends' bunk beds or something, you know? Like, that must be their crashing room. Like, oh, and then a duffel bag. I found a duffel bag, everyone. So I'm definitely gonna grab that now. So, I wanna thank you guys for watching. This was a very, you know, interesting episode. Tomorrow, um... See, I have to gather up a lot more supplies than I did last time before I start going to the motel. Because the motel, or the hotel, is gonna be really heavily guarded. Like, you guys saw how many zombies there were in that one episode. That's basically all the time that hotel is gonna be guarded. So I'm gonna just keep gathering up supplies in every single area I go to. And we'll see where it goes from there. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Motel California. Okay guys, welcome back to an episode of Motel California. We're back here in this episode of Awesomeness where, as I experienced lag, I stopped the game. And as the lag slowly resides, I restart the game. Okay, so that happens pre periodically. I don't really like it. So I'm going to equip... What I'm going to do, guys, I'm basically going to equip my duffel bag as secondary to alleviate some weight. Um, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to move basically... Oh great, I have to click on every single one of these, don't I? Alright, how do I select all? I just, I want to select all. So I'm basically going to move it all into that bag. Because this is this is going to help me much more if I have like an entire... What, I, what I'm kind of going to be sticking to is just kind of three, three bags. I don't want to have um, more than three bags. Because three bags is the maximum, I think. You should really only have three bags and then that's it. So let's get that. Let's get that. I have not... Oh, I should also mention I have not gone to sleep yet. So we'll be going to sleep here very, very soon. Let me just move all this. And then Carpet G for beginners. I'll move this to this bag. And let's just go to sleep now. Wait, give me a second. All right. Let's go to sleep. Go to sleep. We're going to count. We're going to camp on their bed. Because that's what the neighbors would do. He's... This is very much James Thomas' style. He camps on people's beds at night and he doesn't care. In fact, I would say this guy is very much a partier. Like, he just goes out and parties. He, like, knows where all the hip spots are. Oh, dang, this guy woke up really early. Let's just give it a little bit. Because I'm not really in the mood to do much. Do, 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 This guy woke up really early. Okay. So, yeah. Basically, guys, we're back here in Motel, California, and I'm just going to drop this bag immediately. Let's hope this one is the one I drop. Yeah, this is that's the one I wanted to drop. Okay, so let's see. A survivalist bag is coming along very nicely. We have our matches, our pistol. We just need some ammo. Okay, but yeah, it's coming along pretty nicely. But yeah, today, everyone, in Motel, California, what we're going to be doing is still just raiding. <laughs> I'm really not... I really want to make sure that if we go to the motel this time, we are 100% prepared. Because I feel like last time we were not 100% prepared. I'm going to get into some of our food stash. Honestly, I should just be eating from the fridge while there's still our fridges. Which, I do love the fact that food rots in this game. It makes it so hard to keep food in this game. Ah. Get out! <laughs> ah, shoot. And the right... Ah! What the heck? I'm being attacked by all... Okay, run. Just run this way, run this way. Oh my goodness, run this way, run this way, run this way. Let every... Okay, let's just go this. Let's just calm down. There's probably not that many zombies chasing me anymore. Let's just keep going down. Alright, so yeah, that happens. Um, this is what happens sometimes when you party, guys, at random people's houses. That happens. So let's see, is this guy still following me? Oh, I thought I thought it was less people, sorry. I was like hoping for a second that I could get away with it, but no. I'm going to have to go down a little bit further. And eventually I'm going to hit another horde. I've been there before, so... 
No, no, when? Okay. Alright, did I already go here? I don't think so, because I don't think I looked at this place. It does look familiar, though. So of course, it could be that just general layout of these houses. The houses around here look very, very similar. Which is a problem in Murtaugh, he believes, as James Thomas taught us to himself. All these houses are just too much the same. They're too much like each other. I can't live in a place like this. I love the, I love the big city back home. Like, I love going to Louisville and partying with all the ladies. I love doing crazy stuff. I won't say on camera because that would be very creepy. Wait, why, wait where's the camera coming from? At that moment, James Miller realizes that he's being filmed. Uh, James Thomas realizes he's being filmed. He even had the moment where he accidentally called himself James Miller. Am I going temporarily insane? Maybe I should read a book. That's a good idea, James. Thomas, that's a good idea. You've been partying way too much. Anyways, guys. Off of that monologue, we basically are just... Kind of still just looping around. This looks like a pretty well unguarded ha- oh my goodness like six zombies in there I could try to get into it but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a bad idea like pretty darn sure like I already have other zombies coming after me yeah you see but I'm gonna have to you know you have to the one thing you have to realize, realize about project zombies you have to get rid of your general shyness towards zombies like, you have to be willing to just have to deal with the fact you're probably, if you're going to want to get good loot, you're going to have to fight through a lot of zombies. Which is something that you really have to think about in this game. So let me just take out this zombie. Let me just take out this zombie a little bit farther away from the crowd. Okay, and hit. Wow, that was a 1 of KO. Haven't had one of those in a very long time. Okay. So let's see. Let me just break out this. See, where are they all coming from? Wow, you guys are not. You guys are just persistent, aren't you? And... You dead! You dead! Okay. So, see, which way are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from... Why are they coming from that window? Get them out of there. That one's a fast one, so we should kill this one quick. Okay. And... Bominos. Man, I'm really getting the hang of this game. I don't know why people like say this is like a hard game to master. Because it's really not. You know, once you get the hang of the controls, it's really not. Okay, that should have drawn all the uh, other zombies from this house. So we can kind of gain this house. Hopefully there's something good inside of it. Yes, there is something good inside of it. I didn't see any other zombies hunting me, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see, is there anything good in here? Just kitchen knives, forks, and stuff. Man, I wish I could eat some of that. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's just like, like I said, it's just kind of bad to get all that kind of good stuff. Because the good stuff's eventually gonna go bad. There's no point in trying to keep it. Ooh, another shot, another pistol. And sorry if my voice got really loud there for a second. I was adjusting myself. Oh, and lag again. Okay, after this, I'm probably going to have to stop playing because it's really becoming an issue now of lag. Probably because my computer is becoming so slow from doing a render today and doing lots of stuff like that. James, Tom James Thomas is unfazed. In fact, he's going, right now, James Thomas is going in unfazed by almost everything. He's just like... Ah! Die! 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 You better not kill me. You better not kill me. This is such a glitchy... Like, I can't even tell you guys how glitchy this is. Like, literally, this guy's not... Come on, die! 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 Oh, come on, just die! 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 Oh, my goodness! Whew! I think he died. Okay, so, yeah, that was that room. James Thomas definitely much more of a badass than our previous character. He doesn't even care about anything or his own reckless destruction of his life because he's so, like, willing to do almost anything. As that ends the episode, in fact, I think I'll go any episode in there because it's actually more safer out there, over there, than over here. In fact, I know where we are now. We're basically at the lower point of the map. Um, pretty much in a good safe area for a little bit. Let me eat some chocolate. Okay, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Good talking to you guys. See you guys next time.